girls just started wrestling the guys. I know uh, girls want to be equal to the guys, especially in wrestling, independent wrestling. It's always that uh, girls can do anything the guys can do and can do better, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Bears, of course, are natural wrestlers. No question about this. They uh, instinctively know a snap mare, a leg sweep. Uh, you know, in, in the in the seventies and in, in the early eighties, uh, I do believe Tracy Smothers wrestled a live bear. I don't think it's that much different. I think it's 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 on the same level of of re you know it's it's something to see. People want to see it. Like this guy's gonna wrestle this girl. Like like really? And there might be some detractors and naysayers, but when you go out there and you just absolutely don't pull punches and you know I'm throwing these big ham hocks at her full blast and then it's believable and they get behind her they get behind me still it's it, it, I think it's good business I think it's it's something different is it is it a sh something you could do every show I don't maybe not but I think it's a fun story to tell It is. It's, it's a gimmick. That, that's what hooks them, you know? They get the, uh, hooks them. It gets the people in. But then when they see it, and these girls are kicking ass, and doing great, and having competitive matches with males, the people kind of go, oh, wow. Like, wow, that was like, that was good. And it wasn't like, oh, that was good for a girl. Like, no, that was good. Personally, for me, it's just, uh, it's fun. I enjoy wrestling the guys more than the girls. Uh, they're willing to like, you know, take whatever. There's far less egos when I wrestle women. And I, I don't want to say it's because they don't usually get their due because women are starting to get their due, like girls like Kim and Chrissy. I don't know, yeah, I feel like they work harder than the dudes, much harder, and they hit a lot harder, so. Well, men and women are both trained equally the same way, so. You're you're a competitor. You're not you're, you're not just a man and a woman. You're you are equal competitors. We are the same thing, except one has a little something extra and one has a little something less. You know what I mean? So showing them that you can actually do what they can do and do it even better or just as good, probably better. Mainstream wrestling, the men aren't looking for them to wrestle. They're looking for them to be beautiful and um, be eye candy and be sexual and sell sex. I hope that you know that that barrier can be broken and the mold can be shattered and everything. Uh, I just, I don't know. Wrestling, just as a whole, you know, especially with like WWE and stuff, you just see so much. Uh, you know, this model got signed and that model got signed and, you know, most of them can't even take a back bump. So it's kind of like some of us girls just want to go in there and prove like, hey, I don't have to be signed to WWE to like show that I can, you know, I can wrestle better than all those girls. Americans are sexists. Let's be honest here. Like they are. Like some there's guys that still believe women should be barefoot, pregnant in the kitchen. But you go out there and wrestle one and tell me that they have as much skill as we have. They have as much guts as we have, and they have as much go as we have. 
respect. Anybody that gets in between them ropes has my respect because it takes balls. Like, I don't care if you really have them or not, it takes balls and they got them. Um, we had a, it was kind of a, a weird concept show that we wanted to try out uh, called Battle of the Sexes, which was all intergender matches. Um, just this kind of weird idea. We've been kind of dabbling in intergender wrestling since I think like 2009, and it's progressively gotten more, uh, more and more popular. Um, so we just wanted to try something out to where it was just like we want to do a whole show and see if people were receptive to it. She's got to be, if she's five foot, she's lucky. And maybe 110 pounds. Maybe. And she's 18. She, <laughs> she was five when I started wrestling. That's weird. That's kind of weird to me. Kind of freaks me out. And uh, describe kind of your frame, your build. I'm 6'4", I weighed myself yesterday. I weighed 316 pounds. I'm a big guy, just a big dude. Some would say a giant, I wouldn't. That's kind of going too far. <laughs> but I'll make you a promise. I won't treat you like a young woman. I will treat you like a wrestler. If you give me 100%, and we should give all these fans a show, what do you say? Yeah. 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 Um, this, and this goes back to like the intergender thing. Like, I think a lot of guys think they have to wrestle women like they're women. I wrestled Heidi Lovelace at AIW in May, and when I went into it, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be like the, oh, I don't want to hit you because you're a girl, and and like I'm gonna pretend like when you hit me, it doesn't hurt, and you know stuff like that. Like I wrestled her like I would wrestle any other dude. I wrestled her like she was a wrestler, um, because that's what people want to see. They don't want to see me doing dance spots or you know doing a kiss spot or something weird like that like they want to see a competitive match so like that's just my plan I'm just gonna wrestle her like I would anyone like if I was wrestling a small man <laughs> eventually I think it'll turn to that but I think right now it's right at the beginning stages of like guys and girls like just about to start melting together so I don't think it's a problem yet but I definitely think it will be a problem so step up your game boys. <laughs> Some wrestlers are better than other wrestlers. There's some guy wrestlers are better than other guy wrestlers. So like, don't think of it's like, oh, she's a girl. Like, try to change, change yourself and change wrestling. Cause like, people want to see it. And like, if you're just stuck in that mindset, it's not gonna go anywhere. And and it could be a cool thing. It could be something that people really want to see. And maybe we can change the world. <laughs> Sure. You gotta get her back, it's gross. Oh, my back is amazing. Thank you. Take care now. It was necessary tonight. Um, yeah, I've got a lot happening here. Um, I'm bleeding a bit, still a lot. Uh, this. <laughs> I had uh, like fishnet gauntlets on, and so this is from hitting the cage and immediately bruising through those. That's something. Uh, and then I haven't really seen it, but apparently my whole back is torn up and my arm. But I think in general, there's always that like hesitation of what you're seeing is a man hitting a woman, and there's that's that's almost taboo, um, and I think it's hard sometimes for people to get past that. 
and it's hard to explain to them, you know, like, oh, well, this is, you know, within the confines of a wrestling match, and it's just a competition, and if you're not a wrestling fan, like, it's really difficult to explain that, make someone understand that. There's the whole idea of, um, like, how comfortable um, an audience is gonna be uh, with seeing a man and a woman fighting. It tends to more be the idea of a man, you know, being physically violent with a woman. Some crowds are disgusted by that, just full stop. You can't, you can't play an intergender match in front of some crowds because it's just not acceptable to them. Uh, some wrestlers are completely just disgusted with it, totally. Like, they don't believe men and women should be mixing in the ring. The whole idea of a man hitting a woman is abhorrent to them. But it's not a man hitting a woman, necessarily, if you look at them just as wrestlers. Uh, and then there's other crowds that are totally, not just totally accepting of it, but are just encourage it and want to see it and it's something they want to see and they just see it as wrestling. So it totally depends where you are. So there's just, there's a lot at play, I would say more so than a match that I'm going to walk into against a woman where maybe all I'm more thinking of is, you know, your basic size and strength things and um, how we're going to work with that where there's less of the like mental issue of how is this going to be received and what are people's prejudices going to be. But there are times when people are just going to be like really, really, really excited to watch a woman, you know, get the crap beaten out of her, <laughs> which is its own, its own little thing. Some people will tell you it's different. Some guys tell you they're uncomfortable doing it, uh, that it's, it's not believable for business. But uh, I treat them like I'm wrestling a dude. I don't, I don't care, man, because. Uh, I believe in respect. I believe in business respect. I believe in. I, I, I believe that if, if if they're gonna do what we do, if 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 we're gonna do what they do, for that matter, that we gotta work like we would uh, any other guy in the ring. Wrestling's all about seeing yourself in that situation. You know, growing up, you become a wrestling fan. Like, man, I, you know, I root for Dusty Rhodes. I'm, I'm a chunky kid, and he's a fat guy. You know, you live vicariously through that. And why isn't it to say that you know there's some girls watching, you know, me and him, Kimberly. You know, Chrissy Rivera, you know, or, or any other woman's wrestler. I think that's you know they live vicariously through that, and I, I think that's their, their perception. Um, I think it continues to be uh, just to be taken seriously um, as competitors and athletes and as performers by our peers, by our male peers, um, to be taken seriously by fans and just continue to have opportunities. And if those opportunities are intergender stuff, if the opportunities are you know, just, just not mixed gender matches, like women versus women, um, just to continue to have the chance uh, to show that we're just as athletic as men can be. Uh, we can do, you know, whatever, we can entertain in the same way and it's not just about being eye candy. 